Hello, Wyoming Democrats. I'm Jason Palmer, a Democratic candidate for President of the United States. And I want you all to know that I've spent a lot of quality time in your state. I love the cities of Casper, Cheyenne, Laramie, Gillette, Jackson. And of course, I've spent a good amount of time in Yellowstone National Park, which is my favorite park in the United States. So I do feel like I understand the needs of Wyoming pretty well compared to most of the other candidates. Today, you'll have the opportunity to choose the Democratic candidate who you think will best represent you at the DNC convention and then represent the United States of America over the next four years. I know this is kind of a unique situation because Joe Biden has actually won enough delegates that he's the presumptive nominee. However, I really want you to think about who's going to best represent you at the convention, who understands your needs, who can be your voice at the convention. I believe that I'm the best choice to represent Wyoming at the convention. You're a state with unique beauty, unique challenges, and unique opportunities, and I want to earn your vote. But before I get started, you're probably wondering, who is this Jason Palmer? I've barely heard of him. Well, as an education and technology leader for the last 30 years, I've dedicated my career to improving educational outcomes for students and workers. I believe that education is the cornerstone of unlocking the potential of every American, and we need to invest significantly more into our young people and to the education workforce system. This area of our economy has been underinvested in for decades, and it's really important. We all know that education unlocks people's potential and the future. So I'm committed to making sure that there are more resources for education across the country and especially in Wyoming. From early childhood through K-12 education, where I've done significant investments myself as an impact investor over the years, as well as college and beyond, because we all need to keep upskilling as the 21st century changes so many jobs in so many sectors. We will expand federal funding for education and create new pathways to apprenticeships, credentials, and lifelong learning when I'm president. In addition, I want to talk to you about the importance of the economy. If you look on my website at palmerforpresident.us, you'll see that a significant portion of the policies that I've outlined there are about how to improve our economy. I have important ideas about how to move us to what I call a new collar economy that's more digital and actually involves people working together across this great country of ours, regardless of where you live, making it more virtual and more middle class, reviving the American dream for everyone. But we also have to move to green energy, but do it in a way that doesn't displace workers who are actually working in oil and natural gas industries, which are so important right now as well. About 75% of America's energy use still comes from oil and natural gas, and it's going to be that way for the next two decades. But we got to use those decades to get people actually upskilled for the green jobs in solar, in wind, in geothermal, possibly even in hydrogen, so that the transition does not dislocate everybody. And that doesn't even include upgrading all of the transmission lines, which are still based on very old technologies. If you want to understand one main thing about me, I am all about innovation, but innovation has to put people first. We have to think about the skills and jobs that are going to be created in the future, and we need to train and upskill people so they're not afraid of the future, but they embrace the future. The Democratic Party can be the party of technology, but it needs to be a party that is people first when it comes to technology. Now, I also want to talk to you about probably my favorite part about Wyoming, which is the natural resources that you have there, the beautiful land that exists all throughout Wyoming. As we upgrade our infrastructure, we need to strike a balance between responsible resource development and environmental conservation. I actually served on the Smithsonian's board of the Conservation Biology Institute and National Zoo because I care so much about conservation. This is core to my being. And I want you to know that I think conservation needs to be a higher priority at the national level, and I will make it the forefront of my agenda. In addition, and I mentioned briefly infrastructure, we have passed a massive infrastructure bill in Washington, but there's very little to show for it right now. 
as someone who's been an executive my whole career, I've run multiple businesses, both as a founder and a turnaround CEO. I know how to get implementation done. We need someone in Washington who understands how to get implementations done, hire people for jobs, and execute the building. That's what's most needed over these next four years. In addition, I don't want you to think I'm shortchanging other key issues for your state, like healthcare, where we need to advocate for expanding healthcare services, telehealth, mental health support. These are problems all throughout the United States that need more resources, but I know especially in Wyoming. Now, if you've heard of me before, you probably have heard of me because of American Samoa, where I recently achieved a historic victory over Joe Biden and won delegates to the DNC convention. That victory demonstrates that my vision for America is resonating across diverse communities like your own. With your support, I want to stand up for Wyoming at the convention and actually talk about your issues, your needs, and give you greater voice at the convention. I know that it is right now in Wyoming more of a Republican state than a Democratic state, and that might even be an understatement. But you may not know that's very similar in American Samoa. About 75% of the people of American Samoa are registered Republicans, and Democrats are vastly outnumbered. That probably sounds familiar because it's a little bit like that in Wyoming as well. At the DNC, I plan to use my delegates from American Samoa to be an advocate for our shared values, and I want to do the same for Wyoming. Together, we can build a brighter future for Wyoming and our nation. Wyoming, that's why I'm asking for your vote today in your Democratic caucus. I believe that together, we can reinvent and rebuild the American dream and make it a reality for every Wyoming resident. Thank you.